Hey there, adventurers and armchair travelers. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're about to embark on a journey to a place where the sun kisses volcanic peaks, black sand beaches sparkle like obsidian jewels, and the air hums with the promise of unforgettable experiences. This, my friends, is Tenerife, the largest of Spain's Canary Islands. An island forged by fire and sculpted by the relentless caress of the Atlantic, Tenerife is a land of dramatic contrasts and unexpected delights. We'll be exploring ancient forests that climb the slopes of towering volcanoes, diving into turquoise waters teeming with marine life, and tasting the unique flavors of Canarian cuisine. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready to explore the heart and soul of this island paradise. Forget cookie cutter resorts, we're diving headfirst into the places that make Tenerife truly sing. Whether you're a high roller with a taste for the finer things or a backpacker living on a shoestring budget, this island's got a place for you. First up, we're checking into the Ritz-Carlton Obama, a sprawling oasis of luxury nestled on the sun-drenched southwest coast. Think cascading infinity pools overlooking the Atlantic, Michelin-starred dining experiences, and service that could make a sultan blush. But hold on, don't think Tenerife is all about five-star extravagance. We're switching gears and heading north to La Casona de Teno, a charming rural hotel tucked away in the island's lush green heart. Here, it's all about disconnecting, embracing the tranquility of nature, and waking up to the sounds of birdsong. And for those who crave a taste of local life, we're venturing into the heart of Santa Cruz, Tenerife's vibrant capital to experience the bustling energy of La Laguna Grand Hotel. This beautifully restored 18th century mansion, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, oozes history and charm. But let's be honest, a hotel is more than just a place to rest your head. It's about the experiences, the people, the stories that unfold within its walls. We'll be chatting with the passionate locals who bring these hotels to life, from the chefs crafting culinary masterpieces to the housekeepers who treat every room like their own. We'll uncover the hidden gems within each hotel, whether it's a secret rooftop terrace with breathtaking views or a cozy library stocked with tales of the island's fascinating past. So whether you're looking for opulence, authenticity, or a little bit of both, Tenerife's hotels offer a gateway to an unforgettable experience. Look, Tenerife's got beaches for days, golden stretches of sand that'd make a postcard jealous, but we're not here for the ordinary. We're diving deeper, venturing beyond the sunbeds and sunscreen to uncover the island's true treasures. First stop, Taide National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and home to Mount Taide, Spain's highest peak. This otherworldly landscape, a volcanic wonderland of craters, lava flows, and surreal rock formations, We'll leave you breathless. We'll lace up our hiking boots and trek through this Martian landscape, feeling the volcanic rock crunch beneath our feet as we ascend towards the heavens. And as the sun sets, casting an ethereal glow over the caldera, we'll understand why this place has captivated travelers for centuries. Next, we're off to Loro Parque, a world-renowned zoo and conservation center that's more than just a collection of animals. It's a sanctuary where rescued orcas and dolphins glide through massive tanks, gorillas swing through lush enclosures, and exotic birds put on a symphony of sound and color. But it's the park's dedication to conservation that truly sets it apart. We'll get up close and personal with the people working tirelessly to protect endangered species, learning about their groundbreaking research and the challenges they face in a rapidly changing world. And because no trip to Tenerife is complete without experiencing its vibrant culture, we'll be immersing ourselves in the colorful chaos of La Laguna's historic quarter. We'll wander through cobblestone streets lined with colonial-era architecture, duck into traditional cafes for a taste of Barraquito, the island's signature coffee drink, and soak up the infectious energy of this living, breathing museum. So, leave your beach towel behind, Grab your sense of adventure, and let's explore the heart and soul of Tenerife. Forget those sad, soggy sandwiches you usually pack for trips. In Tenerife, we feast. 
We're diving headfirst into the island's culinary soul, exploring a world of flavors as diverse and vibrant as its landscapes. First stop, we're going off the beaten path, deep into the heart of the island's wine country, to experience the rustic charm of a traditional guachinche. These makeshift restaurants, often little more than a local's garage or living room, are where you'll find the true heart of Canarian cuisine. We're talking hearty stews simmering over open fires, fresh caught seafood grilled to perfection, and wrinkled potatoes, or Papa arrugadas, that'll make you wonder why you ever bothered with French fries. And the wine? Let's just say it flows as freely as the conversation. But Tenerife's culinary scene isn't stuck in the past. We're heading to the Michelin-starred restaurant MB by Martin Barasategui, where culinary wizardry meets locally sourced ingredients. Prepare to have your senses dazzled by innovative dishes that push the boundaries of taste and presentation. We'll chat with Chef Barasategui himself, a culinary rock star who's bringing international acclaim to the island's gastronomic scene. He'll walk us through his creative process, his passion for showcasing the island's bounty, and the delicate dance between tradition and innovation. And because no culinary journey is complete without a sweet ending, we'll be indulging in the sugary delights of bien masabe, a traditional Canarian dessert that's as unique as its name suggests. We'll learn the secrets behind this ancient recipe, passed down through generations of grandmothers, and savor every bite of its almondy, cinnamon-infused goodness. So, loosen your belts, grab a fork, and get ready to experience the true taste of Tenerife. All right, let's talk beaches. Tenerife's got enough coastline to satisfy even the most dedicated sunbather, but we're not here to just bake on the sand. We're diving into the turquoise depths, exploring hidden coves, and discovering the unique character of each beach. First up, Playa de las Teresitas, a golden crescent of paradise on the island's northern coast. Imagine palm trees swaying in the breeze, crystal clear waters perfect for snorkeling, and soft imported sand that feels like a warm hug for your feet. We'll soak up the sun, sip on ice cold cervezas, and chat with the locals who call this place home. They'll tell us stories of the island's past, share their favorite hidden swimming spots, and maybe even teach us a thing or two about surfing those perfect Atlantic waves. But Tenerife's beaches aren't just about sun and sand. We're heading south to Playa de Benijo, a dramatic black sand beach nestled beneath towering cliffs. This is a place where the raw power of nature takes center stage, where the waves crash against the shore with a primal energy that's both exhilarating and humbling. We'll hike along the cliff tops, marveling at the rugged beauty of this volcanic coastline and feel the spray of the ocean on our faces as we breathe in the salty air. And as the sun sets, painting the sky in hues of orange, pink, and purple, we'll understand why this beach is a photographer's dream. And for those seeking a more secluded escape, we'll venture off the beaten path to Playa de Antequera, a hidden gem accessible only by boat or a challenging hike. This pristine beach nestled between towering cliffs feels like a world away from civilization. We'll have the place practically to ourselves as we swim in the turquoise waters, explore the nearby caves, and bask in the tranquility of this secluded paradise. So grab your sunscreen, pack a picnic, and get ready to experience the beaches of Tenerife in all their glory. Look, guidebooks will show you the way to Tedi and the beaches, but we're after something more. We're on a quest for authenticity, for the hidden gems that reveal the true soul of Tenerife. We're talking about the places where locals go, the experiences that don't come prepackaged. First stop, Masca, a tiny village perched precariously on a mountain ridge in the Tino Mountains. This place is straight out of a fairy tale with cobbled streets winding past whitewashed houses adorned with colorful flowers. We'll wander through the village, soaking up the breathtaking views of the surrounding valleys, and chat with the locals who've chosen to make this remote paradise their home. They'll share stories of the island's history, offer us a taste of their homemade goat cheese, and maybe even invite us to join them for a game of dominoes in the village square. Next, we're venturing into the Anaga Rural Park, a UNESCO biosphere reserve that feels like stepping back in time. 
This ancient laurel forest, shrouded in mist and mystery, is home to an incredible array of plant and animal life found nowhere else on Earth. We'll hike through the lush rainforest, feeling the soft moss beneath our feet, and listen to the symphony of birdsong echoing through the trees. And if we're lucky, we might even catch a glimpse of the elusive laurel pigeon, a rare bird found only in these forests. And for a taste of Tenerife's artistic soul, we're heading to the Museo de la Naturaleza y el Hombre in Santa Cruz. This fascinating museum, housed in a beautifully restored 18th century building, showcases the island's natural and cultural heritage. We'll marvel at the Guanche mummies, the preserved remains of the island's original inhabitants, and learn about their unique culture and traditions. And we'll explore the museum's impressive collection of Canarian art, from traditional crafts to contemporary masterpieces. So, ditch the tourist traps, grab your sense of adventure, and let's discover the hidden gems that make Tenerife truly unforgettable. So, there you have it. A taste, just a taste, of what Tenerife has to offer. We've scaled volcanoes, explored hidden beaches, and feasted like kings. We've met the people who bring this island to life, heard their stories, and shared their passion for this incredible place. But Tenerife, like any good journey, is best experienced firsthand. It's about the feel of the volcanic sand beneath your feet, the taste of freshly caught seafood, the scent of pine needles in the air. It's about the connections you make, the memories you create, the stories you bring home. So what are you waiting for? Book that ticket, pack your bags, and get ready to discover your own Tenerife. Safe travels, my friends, and until next time, keep exploring.